Tucker Carlson delivered a monologue Thursday night in which he said CNN has joined forces with the DNC and SEN. Elizabeth Warren presidential campaign to crush, common enemy, SEN. Bernie Sanders. Tucker Carlson, Fox News, the Democratic Party has long been a collection of deeply unhappy interest groups that secretly hate each other. But for the last three years, it's been fairly simple to keep that fractious coalition together, just focus on Donald Trump. Despising Trump, jumping up and down about how mean and vulgar and immoral Trump is, is one thing pretty much every Democrat can agree on. It makes them feel virtuous. Nancy Pelosi was hoping it would last forever. But, alas, election season intruded. Democrats now have just a few months to choose their party's nominee. That means that for the first time in a long time, they have no choice but to focus on each other. Imagine the most miserable people you know stuck together in an elevator for a week. That's what it's like. Naturally, CNN is right in the middle of it. The channel's shadowy left-wing president, Jeffrey Zucker, has joined forces with the Elizabeth Warren campaign to crush their common enemy, Bernie Sanders. Just before Tuesday night's Democratic debate, Warren used CNN to attack Sanders as a sexist, not sexy, but sexist, for saying a woman couldn't be elected president. Sanders denied saying it. After the debate, Warren marched over to Sanders and barked at him. Presumably at Warren's request, CNN later released the tape. Watch how it went, including a special guest appearance by Tom Steyer, who suddenly looks tiny and afraid. Warren, I think you called me a liar on national TV, Bernie, what? Warren, I think you called me a liar on national TV, Bernie, let's not do it right now. We'll have that discussion. Warren, anytime. Bernie, you called me a liar. You told me, let's not do it now. Stare, I don't want to get up in the middle of it. I just want to say hi. Bernie, yeah, good. Okay, Elizabeth Warren is not someone you'd want to have a meal with. That much is entirely clear. Tell her you're busy if she calls. But what else does that video prove? Absolutely nothing. Not one thing. We're in the same place we were at the beginning of the week, with an aging, unprovable allegation, thrown onto the field in desperation by a fading presidential candidate, who seems more unlikable by the day. It would get nowhere in court. But at CNN, where being a high school student from Kentucky is grounds for character assassination, it's enough to show conclusively that Bernie Sanders hates women. Watch the analysis. I am strong. I am invincible. I am woman. Sorry, we pulled the wrong tape from our feminist outrage file. In fact, the real thing is even more embarrassing. David Chalian, CNN political director, it was so real, the moment. I mean, her, however you want to describe it, her frustration, her anger, her desire to have make this point to Bernie Sanders was crystal clear. Gloria Borger, CNN chief political analyst, so you can clearly understand her fury at that. And again, it's one of those moments you don't see very often in politics, where she felt very frustrated, used whatever word you want, and she just went over to him and told him what she was thinking. Bill Press, liberal commentator, I agree with Hillary. It was real and she was pissed off Hillary Rosen, CNN political commentator, people I've heard all day are saying, she knew she was miked. She did this on purpose. That, to me, did not look on purpose. It looked like she was seething through that part of the debate, edit, who do we believe? I believe Elizabeth Warren, she's feeling under the gun. She's feeling judged as a woman and I think there's an insensitivity around her frustration on that. This time, CNN tells us, Elizabeth Warren is being 100%, completely real. Not like that time she lied about her race, or her job history, or her plan to finance universal health care without a middle-class tax hike. No, this time, for sure, no question, Warren is telling the whole truth, and nothing but...
you'd have to be some kind of misogynist to doubt her. That's what they told us all night on CNN. Why? Simple, the Democratic National Committee is worried about Bernie Sanders. All those attacks on Wall Street offend donors. Jeff Zucker, a Democratic partisan who said he plans to run for office once he's finished destroying CNN, was happy to help. And so Zucker unleashed his army of paid robots to stop the Bernie menace before voters could elect him. That's what you're watching, the media working as handmaidens to the ruling class. And not just on CNN. The Los Angeles Times praised Warren for refusing to shake Sanders' hand, calling her rudeness, quote, a master class in handling sexism, etc. But is it true? Sanders is a socialist, certainly. Is he a sexist? Consider this, according to an analysis by Breitbart, Sanders pays his female congressional staffers $3,500 more per year, on average, than Elizabeth Warren does. Yet, according to CNN, Warren is the real champion of women. Okay so what's the effect of all this? Michael Moore isn't much of a filmmaker, or for that matter, of a person. But he knows a lot about the Democratic Party. Here's his analysis, Moore, I've known Bernie since the 80s so there's no way he said anything like the way it's been reported. They will mark this day, January 13th, as the day Donald Trump was re-elected. Moore may be onto something. Four years ago, Democrats rigged the primary for Hillary Clinton, despite the fact she probably would have won anyway. They couldn't resist cheating. Because they did that, millions of Democratic voters emerged embittered. Some stayed home in November. Others voted for Jill Stein or Gary Johnson. Some moved to Donald Trump. The net effect, Democrats suffered a shocking upset on Election Day. Could it happen again? Of course. No one in Washington ever learns anything. Let's block ads. Why? 